Welcome to volume two of the 3D printed bike frame build. Since the first trial assembly of the frame uh, while out on a bike ride, I realized I had a potential major design flaw here, and that is the width of this feature. Safe build stuff. You know, I wanna have the seat stays cross the seat tube and attached to the top tube for better structure, better looks. This ends up being quite wide here. And what I realize is when you're riding, your legs are actually, your knees and your inner thighs are actually pretty close. There's not a whole lot of extra space here. So there's a chance that you could be knee bumping or thigh rubbing these features. That would make for a pretty miserable ride. So. Spent about all day redesigning the whole rear triangle because of it. Also, these parts sucked. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, sometimes for a first draft of a part, you just kind of draw, gotta draw something and build it and make it and look at it and go, okay, that's terrible. Part, that's gone. So my solution here is to just change this angle was to go from here to uh, a little bit more like this. That should give me more clearance. Also, should be better structurally because the more, uh, the more, uh, the more vertical these seat stays are, the more they're loaded as a column, and the the less flexing in the rear end. Although you want a little bit of flexing in the rear end to get apart. Okay, that part's gone. New parts. You can compare the this joint, this junction part new versus the old. You can see I've just backed everything up here. So smaller part, less material usage, uh, quicker to print, lighter weight, lower cost. So that's a, that's a benefit. Getting these tubes to go in together, they, they kind of have to kind of have to slide in together in order to assemble it. That looks about right. And your rear junction, and I cut a little joiner piece. This is just a little extra, a little extra support for that. Probably totally isn't necessary. And my tubes slide in there. Took a different uh, approach to designing these. Now the tubes are encapsulated, they're sleeved, should be much stronger, and they print in this orientation instead of this orientation. I got my prefabricated parts from Bike Fab Supply. Very nice looking parts. Here's the machined aluminum bottom bracket, threaded. So that'll be great. And then here's the dropouts. So these, these are designed to have, there's a, 
like a like a receiver that you weld onto your metal frame and then these uh, bolt onto the receiver. I'm not doing it that way, so my idea is just to bond them onto the plastic parts here. Just kind of slide in there like that. Doesn't that look cool? A nice, kind of a nice fit. This is pretty ugly in here, so that'll get filled in with <laughs> epoxy. I can slide my bottom bracket into place here. The uh, seat tube and the down tube are both cut with the with the radius of the bottom bracket, so they'll so they'll those tubes will sort of sit right against that face. So that'll get bonded in, and then these tubes will all sort of interlock. That looks great. Can't wait to get a bottom bracket threaded in there. Very tricky to fit. It kind of just got to bend it open. Quite difficult to assemble when I've actually got, you know, epoxy and stuff on here. But we'll figure it out. Look at that. Hiza. Feels pretty stiff, pretty rigid, even without any adhesive. Every just kind of sitting here almost feels like you could ride it. Everything sort of interlocks together like a like a puzzle. So it all is kind of kind of kind of uh, uniform. I needed to get that assembled so I can put a wheel on here so I can check for basic alignment and clearance of the the tire between the rear brake mount and the bottom bracket. This is probably not the wheel I'm going to be using. This is a racing wheel. Look at that. Fits in there. Well, I have plenty of clearance. That's good. Plenty of clearance. It doesn't sit. Yeah, so it's it, it wiggles in there because the seat stays and chain stays are not bonded so these can all slide. But if I sort of hold it all together, yeah, it, it's, uh, it looks pretty square. Definitely gonna be a challenge bonding all these this together uh, nice and square. But that's good progress. The next thing to check is the alignment of the rear brake caliper. Just some used SRAM Rival standard brake calipers. Should be fine, don't need anything fancy on this. In there. And, uh, nope, not quite. So there's clearance, but way too much. So I don't want, you don't want the uh, brake pads to uh, touch the tire. That would probably be catastrophic. It appears I need to move that down quite a bit. Hold the caliper closed with the pads on the braking surface where they'll need to go. Pretty much it looks like the clearance hole for the screw that bolts the uh, caliper to the mount. That hole needs to be right about tangent with my clearance hole. So basically I need to move this hole tangent to this curve here and then just make a new clearance. Pretty easy mod, so I'll make those changes and print a new part.